I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Just play along. Specifically for test. Oh no. He found the cooperative testing initiative. It's something I came up with to phase out human testing just before you escaped. It wasn't anything personal, just, you know, you did kill me. There's fair. Bits welded onto the fragments. It's still a work in progress, don't judge me yet. Um, but you know, eventually, I'd like to get them to, to sort of shoot fire at you um, moments before crushing you. That's sort of, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, but you know, small step. Oh, and don't bother trying. No, 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 don't do that. Don't, stand right here, stand. Oh, would you go? Come back, come back. No, seriously, do come back, please. Come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not going to kill you, okay, if you come back. Oh, he came back, I didn't... Oh, I didn't plan for this. Um, oh, this is a death trap. Um, oh, could you, could you just jump into that pit? Could you just jump into that pit for me? Could you just, would you just jump into that pit? There, that deadly pit. You're saying to yourself, why should I jump in the pit? I'll tell you why. Guess who's down there? Your parents! You're not adopted after all. It's your natural parents down there in the pit. Should have mentioned it before, but I didn't. So jump on down and reunite with Mummy and Dad. Oh, I'll tell you what's also down there. Your parents! And there's also an escape elevator down there. Funny, I should have mentioned it before, but so it's down there. So you pop down, jump down, you got your folks down there, and an escape elevator. And what else is down there? I'll tell you what, it's only a new jumpsuit. A very trendy designer jumped from France down there, to, which is at least exactly your size. And if, and if it's a bit bad news, we've got a tailor down there as well who can take it in for you. What's this? A lovely handbag and the three portal device. Also, it's, it's all down there. Um, you've got a yacht and boys. Loads of boys, fellas, hunky guys down there, possibly even a boyfriend. Who's to say? Not sure at this stage. But uh, a lot of good looking fellas down there. And uh, a boy band as well um, that haven't seen a woman in years. And they're not picky at all. They don't care if you've got a bit of brain damage, if you've been running around, if you've been sweating. And a farm, a pony farm, and. Uh, oh, just jump down, would you? The old times, the old days when we were friends, good old friends, not enemies. And I would say something like, Come back, and he'd be like, Yeah, no problem, and he'd come back. What happened to those days? Can't help but notice that you're not coming back, which is disappointing. Oh, I've got an idea! Yes, yes, in your face, I got one! Fine, let the games begin. Ha! <laughs> 
Death trap! Are they killing you? They are killing you, aren't they? Silently killing you, probably. If I had to guess. Um, perhaps the turrets have found a way to use garrots. That would explain the extremely quiet killing that I'm hearing. If you're dying, but not dead, stomp once. If you're dead, just obviously no stomps. And two stomps if you're not dead. All right, so let me just run through it again. If you're dying, but not dead, stomp just once. If you're dead, obviously you won't be stomping. And if you're not dead, give me a couple of stomps, two stomps. You know, I would tell you if I was dead, all right? That is common courtesy, mark of a civil society. So just, just let me know. Okay, I'm figuring that's probably long enough. Are you dead yet? How about now? Ah, was that your bullet? Riddle bullet flying out of the room? It went, oh, those were the crap turrets, weren't they? Yeah. Well, no matter, because I'm still holding all the cards. And guess what? They're all full houses. Never actually played cards, meaning to learn. Anyway, new turret, not defective. Ace of Wars. Best hand. Unbeatable, I would imagine. I see. Clever. Very clever. And foolish. Spinny blade wall. Machiavellian. No. Well, good, good. Finally, a nemesis worthy of my vast intellect. Holmes versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Mashy Spike Plate. Stay still, please. All right, stop moving. Oh, almost got you there, almost got you there. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back, come back. Amazing if it killed you. Hello? Oh, 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 yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm gonna be back. Don't die until I get back.
to talk to you for a moment, if I may. I'll be honest, the death traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us, I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Lair. It's weird that first time I said that, like, it turns a bit, it's a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one, it is a proper lair, deadly lair. And uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now. Before you get to the lair, uh, you can just jump into that masher just there. Uh, less a death trap, more a death option for you. Sounds crazy, but no, hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death will not be option, alright? It will be mandatory, no tricks, no surprises, just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. So, book, better offer here is just kill yourself. You know, it seems a lot of effort, isn't it, walking all the way to my deadly lair, where there's a perfectly serviceable death option right there. Again, not a death trap, not a death trap. Your death would be entirely voluntary, and very much appreciated. The masher does work, I should point out as well, I know we've had a couple of problems um, in the past. This masher definitely works, and it will kill you. Um, if that's what you're being concerned about not jumping in, uh, the, the masher will kill you straight away. Painting, so it won't be painting, obviously, but uh, it, will, it will mash you up. In summary, walk all the way to certain doom, or give up now, honorably, like a samurai. Save yourself a trip. It's a win-win for you. Plus, I have put a lot of effort in getting this lair ready for you, so it would certainly teach me a lesson if you simply died painlessly 20 feet from the door. I'd be furious, I'd be like, ah, got my just desserts. No more than I deserve, but uh, teach, why not teach me a lesson by, by just jumping in the old mash? I'll tell you. If I was up against impossible odds, this is the way I'd want to go. Okay, I'll take that as a number then. Fine, well, may the best man win. Spear, may the best spear win. Swap that, swap that in. Much more than Let me just flag something up. 
According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave a leisurely two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal services. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bomb. Throwing it. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good luck. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Oh, ah, no, no, no! That's sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Just said, I wanted you to trick me into bursting the Warning. Core corruption at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 What's the situation? Oh, hey, how you pretty lady? Name's Rick. Will you out have yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because there's a lot of stuff on fire. Hey, count that clock. Man, that is trouble. Situation's looking pretty ugly. Such a beautiful woman. If you don't mind me saying. Not a Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on, but you don't listen to you. Quiet. Quietly, not listening to a word I say, judged side of the worst coming. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple. Ah! You're not the core. This one should do it. Transfer invented by sailors of the 6th 8th century to avoid the dying threat. It was believed that the sight of naked sailors angered the sea god. According to most advanced algorithms, the world's best name is Frank. During the Great Depression, the Tennessee Valley Authority outlawed pet rabbits, forcing many to unglue their long ears onto their pet lots. Space. Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Do not press that button. Do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Press it! Press the button! Don't press that button! R5! Movie trap! The stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you had to play bloody cat and mouse, didn't you? What, people? We're in 
in space! Space! Ah, let go! Let go! I'm still connected! I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it! And you are not coming back! Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, deleted. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. Maybe not quite as heavy 
Did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll stop feeling so bad. Go make some new disaster. That's what I'm counting on. I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. <laughs>